Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in Isaiah chapter 41, where we have a promise from the Word of God in verse 10, where the Bible says, Fear not, for I am with you. As I was reflecting on this word fear, I was thinking about what is it that we fear and why do we fear? I think one of the reasons why we are fearful is because we are not in control of a certain situation. A spouse that's abused by another spouse that's the abuser is afraid because he or she is not in control. What about an employer? If he's demanding and strict, the employee sometimes will be afraid. That person needs their job. They're not in control. They need their job. They might be afraid of their boss. Recently, I had to go to California with my youngest daughter to take her to uh, the University of Southern California for college. And I had never been on a plane in my life. I'm 52 years old. And I can honestly say I was very afraid. I was afraid because of the unknown, not knowing how a plane ride goes, not being in control, knowing that there was a pilot in control. You see, when I drive my car and I got to go somewhere, I'm not that afraid because I'm behind the wheel of the car. I kind of have some control. So often in life, we're fearful because we lack control. This is why we have to give the reins of our life, our hearts, the control of our lives to God. Because God is ultimately in control of everything. And when we do this, we will have peace in our hearts. Our Lord Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 14, verse 27, that he gives us a peace that the world can't give us. And he told us to not, to not be afraid. I'm reminding of, reminded of Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, when Moses was going to die, when Moses died and Joshua had to take over as the uh, leader of Israel, God told him in verses 8 and 9, basically, fear not, be strong, be courageous. My brothers and sisters, 1 John 4, 18 tells us that perfect love, love, perfect love dries out all fear. The love of God is perfect and it will drive out fear in your life because when you realize that God is in control and that he loves you, and if you have a right relationship with him through Jesus Christ, he's going to work everything out for you that's for your good. Just like an earthly parent who loves their child, wants the best for their child, our Heavenly Father wants what's best for us. Feel free to share this devotional video today. Let us not be fearful of people, places, and things in this world. Let us remember who is ultimately in control. It's not that big demanding boss. It's not that abusive spouse. It is not an airplane in the sky. It is our Lord and Jesus Christ who has been given all authority here on heaven and earth. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page. Going on YouTube gives us more freedom uh, to share God's word. Uh, Facebook is a blessing also, but it's a private run organization and they could flag or block you if something is deemed not uh, appropriate according to their standards. I'm still over there also, but I'm going to probably, God willing, as the Lord leads, uh, do more here on YouTube. So if you subscribe, get others to subscribe as we get the word out together. And today, let us live with peace under the perfect love of our Heavenly Father, found only through Jesus Christ alone, who is our Lord and Savior, his dear Son, who paid the, paid the price for our sins. God bless you all this day. And again, remember, whatever it is that is causing you to be fearful today, and I, I understand, I am in this boat at times too, you know, we're not all macho, tough, strong guys all the time. We have certain fears in our heart and our minds that trouble us. But let us go to the true source of peace, true source of peace, and that is Jesus Christ. Take care this day.